Good morning, sir. We welcome you in the name of Jesus Christ. Would you please introduce yourself by sharing with us your name and where you're from? Emmanuel. Oh, my name is Tero Madik. I'm from Zimbabwe. You're welcome, sir. During the course of today's service, the man of God, Apostle Stefan, made mention of the fact that you were a visitor here today. Please tell us, how did you come to know about the ministry? Okay, thank you very much. I've got a friend of mine. Uh, his name is Jacob. Uh, he lives, he works here in Peru. So for quite a number of times, we've, we've been always talking about uh, a church like this church. So he one day told me that if I come, like he gave me the directions to come here. So I was supposed to come here in the morning, but I was very occupied. So I said, let me just go and check if there are still people again, because it was already late. So I came and I found the man of God standing outside. And when I asked him, he told me the registration was over, but I, I could still come the following day. Yes. I know you are very surprised. Are you with me? You are very surprised. Am I right? Stand up, stand up. You are very surprised because the same person is preaching is the same person you meet there. Yes. But you never know that he's the pastor here. No. Huh? Yeah. Tell them, tell them, tell them. The person you meet there, is it the same now? <laughs> no. huh? I know it's you now. <laughs> you, <laughs> you know my brother here is a newcomer. Yet yesterday he came there, I was just like other person. He come and say, oh, I found the church. Oh. This church, somebody called me. I said, eh? No, you are welcome. I'm in Asha. <laughs> this is what I told you now. Yes. I say I'm in Asha. When you come here, we treat, we treat. He said, but they say to me, I must come now to register. Uh, I was me, Bongiwe, and a Tamzin. And a Londiwe. We're standing there. Then he said, because they say I must register for prayer. I said, don't worry, in this church, we treat people very well, visitor. When you come, they will give you a nice place. Did I tell you now? Yes, yes. Where are you sitting? At, at, a, nice, at a nice place. In a nice place? <laughs> yes. I said they will treat you very well. Me also, I'm an Asha. I will be there to welcome you. We will look after you. Did you see it? Yes. yes. Now you are in front of people. We are looking very nice after you. Am I right? Exactly. Please, along the way, I need a drink for my brother. Amen. So you came to looking for the ministry and you arrived here yesterday, a Saturday, which is a day of no service. And you say as you arrived at the entrance of the church, you met the man of God. When you met him, what did he say to you? Okay, thank you. Actually, I didn't even know that he was a man of God. I thought maybe he's one of the people who works at the church. So when I greeted him, uh, it was really a calm greeting, and after he told me that I can come today, I felt like it was a very good welcome, like I couldn't even resist coming today. There's a certain church that I also go another church, but I felt like this is my chance also to come here because of the way he welcomed me yesterday. He was so humbled to me, sure. So when you met him, you say that you were very impressed by how he received you, the warm welcome that you thought you were receiving from an Asha, which is how he introduced himself. And it was that warm welcome that encouraged you even more to come today. As you were coming to the service, what were some of the expectations that you had? What are some of the areas of your life where you've been experiencing difficulties, where you were hoping God to address the matters that you've been facing? Thank you. Actually, let me say, uh, after coming here today, uh, I didn't feel like it was, I was a visitor. I felt like I was the VIP person, you know, sitting in the church. I don't normally visit churches too much, but I think this visit was more special for me. Like, I felt like a revival in my heart for someone who was like the man of God that I saw yesterday. And today, actually, by the time that I saw him, I felt like, wow, no, this is excellent, actually. So. And how was that encounter different from the other experiences that you've had from other servants of God, from meeting other pastors? How would you say that meeting the man of God has been different? Have you ever experienced a pastor or a bishop or a dean 
being as warm, as casual as the man of God, Apostle Stefan, was to you yesterday? Sure, thank you. I think, the, well, let me say the difference that I have discovered here. Uh, it was not only that the man of God is very calm, but there is the presence of God here. He's a very powerful man. Like, I felt like I'm going to invite other people to come here also with me next time. And as you've received the revival in your spirit, as you mentioned, how has this encouraged you to now continue your walk with Christ? Apart from the word that I've listened, I saw some wonderful works of God here. Normally, to churches, you just go, you hear the word, you go, you feel like, okay, I've been relieved, but I've not only been relieved, I felt this is the great deliverance that I was looking for. So to me, this is a different encounter, more than all the, the situations that I've encountered before. Sure. Well, we thank the Lord for bringing you into his presence and for working all things to work together for your good. Now that you have received the grace to be in his presence and to meet Jesus Christ and have a personal encounter for yourself, what word of encouragement or advice would you like to share with other people who are yet to come to Christ? Okay. I think uh, with the experience that I found today, uh, I, can, I, I would like to encourage other people to visit churches like this one. You know, sometimes we've got a tendency of looking down on other churches, especially the church that is not your church, because you don't know what is happening there, but I've seen something more than what I've been used to. And I want to believe that uh, it will be an experience that I'm going to carry over with it. And normally when you see someone who is so humbled like that, you don't normally see people humbled like this. Many of them, you just see them before you meet them that this is a pastor with the way they dress but he is really a different character to what i've been seeing before we thank the lord for everything that he has done through your life and in your life today our word of encouragement to you is that you ought to continue to walk by these words everything you have seen as you've said yourself carry that as lessons and as you do, let the Lord rule and reign over you, and everything you've received will be permanent in Jesus Christ's name. Amen.